Next is the corollary two. That is, if B is obtained from A by applying the column operations, then column space of A is equal to column space of B. This you have to show, and consequently, the column rank of A is equal to the column rank of B. So since it is given to us that B is obtained from A by applying the column operations, so therefore there exists a non-singular matrix, say Q, such that B is equal to A multiplied with Q. Please mark this as star. Let's take A to be in the form A i j and of the type M by N, which can be written in the column format C1, C2 up to Cn because the number of columns are n. And taking Q to be as again Qij of the format n by n, let's say. Then we have to multiply these two matrices A into Q. So A is C1, C2, C3 up to Cn and writing matrix Q as Q11, Q12, so on, Q1, N. Number of columns are N. Then is second row, first column, second row, second column, so on, second row, nth column. How many rows are there? N. So, nth row, first column. Nth row, second column, so on, nth row, nth column. This is how the elements are present in their positions. Now multiplying these two matrices, we get, so this complete C1 column is multiplied with Q11. Plus, the complete column C2 is multiplied with Q21. Plus, the complete column Cn is multiplied with Qn1. Right? And then the complete column C1 is multiplied with Q12. So Q2 to C2, so on. C N Q Q N to C N. So on. Q1 and C1 plus Q2 and C2 plus so on Q and N C N. So this shows that the column of AQ is a linear combination of C1, C2 up to CN, right? So the columns of AQ is a linear combination of the columns of A and consequently these lies in the column space of A. So therefore, column space of AQ is a subset of column space of A. Please mark this as 1. Also, column space of A can be written as column space of A into I, where I is the identity matrix. Same steps, right? The steps we have done in the previous content. And because Q is a singular matrix given to us, so this identity matrix can be written as the product of Q into Q inverse. Because Q is non-singular matrix given to us. Taking this AQ together and the result, we know that the column space of multiplication of two matrices is a subset of column space of the first matrix, that is AQ. So, column space of A is a subset of column space of AQ. Please mark this as 2. So, from 1 and 2, we get that column space of AQ is equal to column space of A. And from the star... That is, B is equal to AQ. From here, we can write that column space of B is equal to the column space of AQ. Because Q is a singular matrix, so by the result, their column spaces are also equal. And because the column space of B is equal to the column space of AQ, I can write the column space of AQ to be equal to column space of B. So this implies column space of A is equal to the column space of B. And when the column space of the matrices are equal, their dimensions are also equal. So the dimension of column space of A is equal to the dimensions of column space of B. And dimension of column space of A is column
column rank of A that is equal to dimension of column space of B is column rank of B. And so we Okay, thank you. Stay blessed.